everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a review slash first impression um, about the Batiste dry shampoo. So, that's it there. Now I got the 6.73 fluid ounces which works out as 200 mils. Um, put it like that so you can sort of get a bit of a size indication. Now I think this is like the middle size. There's about three different sizes. There's the small version which is about probably like three quarters of that and it's the 150 mils or five fluid ounces if you want to talk it about US terms. Um, and also there's one that's a wee bit bigger than that which is about 350 or 400 mil. I got the Sassy Endearing Wild one and I'm not gonna lie I pretty much bought it based on the print because I just thought it was adorable and I had to have it. So apart from the fact that I was willing to try it out and I really wanted to see what it was like, it's my first ever dry shampoo and um, yeah, bought it because of the bottle colour and it's very, like it's a nice bottle. Um, I like the print and I like the other ones as well. I think they're really cool. Very um, out there and um, attractive on the shelf. Now, there's quite a few different types and they've actually just come out with a new one. Uh, so I'll just run through a couple of the ones that um, I've come across or seen in store. So we've got like the fresh one, we've got the original one, um, there's the tropical one, there's the one that I got, um, and there's the, bl the blush one, and also the one that I found that I was like, oh my god, why didn't I get that one, is the bright and blonde one, or <laughs> light and blonde, sorry. So um, I probably should have got that, obviously, but um, purely on the print, attracted to cheetah, can't really help it, I bought this one. So, um, first impression, now, the reason why I bought this was because um, not only have I never tried a dry shampoo, but um, I shower at night time because I need my sleep and I prefer to have a sleep in rather than getting up and having a shower. Lazy, I know, but I actually prefer showering at night anyway. It's what I've always done, so I'm kind of used to doing that now. Um, but basically, I was having days where I would use certain products in my hair or um, just going out in certain temperatures or weather types um, changes my hair drastically and I was finding that I was coming home at like 5 o'clock from work and my hair would be oily already or pretty much as if I hadn't showered in like 3 days which I find really really gross but I don't know, I mean I've got quite um, thin hair. Um, I don't know if you can sort of see, but I'm quite thin here, but um, for some reason it gets oily very quickly, so I basically have to wash my hair daily. Uh, so I thought that in between washes, or for people who would like to give their hair a rest, this is a really good product to use because it makes your hair so much softer, it basically takes out all the grease or all that oily feel. You know how when you touch your hair and you're like, oh, I feel so dirty? so gross like when did I last shower but it was only like less than 24 hours ago that's just because it gets grease and it gets whipped around and uh, like today is really like extremely windy and I had an appointment to go to this morning I don't even know why I bothered doing my hair because I came home and I was like def def what is this like why did I even bother because my hair was just fucked pretty much <laughs> so don't even know why I bothered but so I got this because I wanted to try it out. There's a lot of like a lot of YouTube videos on it. There's um, a lot of blogs about it saying that it's the best dry shampoo out there and blah blah blah. And it's kind of like, what is the hype? Like, what is this all about? I'd never tried it before, so I was like, hmm, yep, I'm gonna do it. So just a little bit of information about where I got mine from. Now for all you in Dunedin, um, probably the best place to go to get the best selection is like a pharmacy, like life pharmacy, a bigger pharmacy sort of thing, or farmers. Um, I actually got mine on a sale, so it was 30% off all health and beauty products from farmers, and um, I got it for about $14 something, so I think it was like $14.30 or something like that, but um, because they range in size, I mean, I just sort of aimed for the middle one because I wasn't really needing a really large one to try out first. And then if I was going to repurchase it, I'd probably get the bigger one. Um, so yeah, I paid about 13, I mean, 14.30. 
so um as i said it's definitely a good dry shampoo i was actually quite shocked now I'll show you what it's like when you spray out i actually like got a fright the first time i used it because i was like jesus christ so it's <laughs> i don't know if you can see that on camera put it up real close it's um probably looks real trippy it smells so good i love it um it's a very high pressured um, nozzle like it sprays out really like intensely and it comes out kind of like not in a powder form but it has like a white look to it like it doesn't look like a liquid spray you know how when you spray your hair spray and it kind of just looks like a liquid spray but in a high pressured form um, this has got sort of like a white sort of look to it so um, I was kind of kind of got a fright because I didn't really expect it when I put it in my hair for the first time. Um, but I can still smell it. It's in the air. I love it. It smells so good. I can't really put my finger on what it smells like. I've smelled it before. It's kind of florally. Like, it smells like a type of flowery type smell that I've smelled. Or maybe it's like one of my perfumes or something. But... It's amazing and it actually scents your hair so you put it in your hair and I can smell my hair as I'm walking around which is really cool because it's not like a perfume it's not designed for that reason but I think they do it because they know that girls kind of like that sort of thing and um, it's, it's definitely got it says it's got a dry shampoo with a sassy and daring fragrance so I don't know what they really class as sassy or daring but I definitely say it's freaking good pop sniff that for quite a long time before getting a headache <laughs> but um, I'll tell you a wee bit of a description on the bottle it says um, Batiste dry shampoo looks per is perfect to use between washes a quick burst revitalizes hair and removes any excess grease hair feels gorgeously clean and fresh without added body and texture um, it's not a sh it's not a hairspray or anything so it doesn't actually slake your hair down or give it any um, sort of teasing at all it just it's just to take away that sort of um, dirty look and make you look nice and good and fresh as if you've just sort of washed your hair and blow dried it or whatever um, tells you to shake it before you use it blah 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 um, and then it says to keep your nozzle <laughs> sounds real weird keep the nozzle 30 centimeters away from your hair when massaging or spraying into the roots so um, yeah not a lot of information on the back but I'm definitely impressed by the product itself and the container because it's fucking cute um, it says that it's this this one in particular is um, for all types of hair so there's no like particular hair that it's suitable for um, I don't actually know if the other ones have a specific hair type except for the only one that I know that's obviously for light and blonde hair which I probably should have got but um, yeah I'm definitely impressed with it I definitely recommend it um, for all you girls that live in Dunedin and um, want to check it out here are some places that they sell it they now sell it at the warehouse I don't know how much it is but I'd say it's probably quite um, similar to the prices um, that are in farmers I think all around they probably have sort of like a generic sort of price that all of them kind of base it around um, I think if you got it on a sale at the warehouse it'd probably be a good go but other than that, I mean, 15 bucks or whatever for 200 mils, and I mean, I've used this probably like five times now, and it's got a little bit of sound to it, but it doesn't even feel like it's been hardly used. So, um, another few places that sell it, I found the mini bottles in Posty Plus the other day, so that's kind of handy to know. Um, Posty Plus is starting to get some good stuff. They've now got like number seven makeup, which I don't know if you guys know, but it's just a US brand that. Um, can't really typically get in, in New Zealand so um, there's another wee fun fact for you uh, also as I said is pharmacies and also online sites so places like ASOS or anywhere that sells um, here products basically sell it because it's the kind of like an in thing at the moment and um, I think they're trying to make it into more of the market type thing so they're trying to get it out there um, which means that a lot more online sites are now actually selling it the only problem that you've got to face is the fact is it might not sell to New Zealand but I know that ASOS do so um, if you are interested in buying it online um, maybe doing an actual order and actually buying a few more things then ASOS will be a goer or um, 
there's I mean there's heaps of them I could just jot down heaps of them and actually Batiste have their own website obviously I don't know if it's the shop like I don't know I've got it here so I'll have a wee look I don't know if you can actually buy it from here I'm gonna take that as a no because they actually have a tab saying where to buy um, so I'll name a few places that you'll probably find more in the US or places overseas um, alterdrugstore.com um, A&P where's some more places that I can think of that I actually know um, Walgreens that's about it from that whole list that I actually know <laughs> what, who, where they are or who they are. But, I mean, you can find it pretty much anywhere if, if it's that type of store. So, um, I definitely recommend trying it out. Um, if you aren't able to afford a bigger bottle or if you are only wanting a smaller bottle, it's good because they do actually have the option for that. I really like how they have minis. Plus, you can actually get travel sets. Oh, a thing to think about was about to say but I'm gonna word it differently um, if you are buying from New Zealand be careful where you buy it from online I only say that because if it means that you have to use a U shop or ship it to they will quite often take out any aerosols or perfumes so if you decide to buy it off ASOS and I don't I can't remember if they ship direct I think they do I think they do yeah blonde moment um, but let me know in the comments if they do because I've completely forgotten but um, places like Amazon, Walmart, places like that that need to be used as a separate warehouse before you get it sent here um, they will take them out and you might pay for it and they just won't send it so you don't get it so don't waste your time if that is the case because you'll be spending money that is not going anywhere so I don't recommend it I was going to do it until I did a bit of research and found out that they will actually do that to your boxes like they'll go through it and kind of like oh you know perfume nah. I mean you could spend like $50 or whatever on a perfume and not end up receiving it so I don't recommend that but Excuse me, I just had some orange juice and it kind of like got mm. um, But if you can buy it from a store that's local, I mean it's cheap enough to do so So I recommend just buying it from a store um, Then do that because then you know that you're getting it in hand You don't have to pay shipping and you can use it that day So that's just my recommendations but um, anyway, that is my review on the Batiste Dry Shampoo. Um, I haven't tried any more out yet. I'm hopefully going to get some in my subscription boxes or um, in the next hauls that I do. So keep tuned for more um, reviews. And um, other than that, yes, I definitely recommend it. But thank you. Bye.